Indian Prime Minister is making his journey to the United States, is crossing the North Atlantic and is expected to reach New York in some time. And the city is decked up to welcome Narendra Modi on his first official state visit to the United States. And this is what the mood looks like out there. Times Square billboards are filled with messages and visuals welcoming the Indian Prime Minister. And upon reaching, the Indian Prime Minister will kickstart his visit with a flurry of meetings with top industry leaders. Starting with the Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, which will of course be very interesting because this might open Tesla's foray into the Indian market. The Indian Prime Minister is also expected to sit down with Nobel laureates, with economists, artists, scientists and health sector experts. The 21st of June will of course be a big one for India's soft power projection. Yoga is going to take center stage as it also happens to be the World Yoga Day. The Indian Prime Minister will lead the global celebrations at the United Nations headquarters. People from over 180 different nations are expected to turn out in big numbers around the world and take part in the event. And soon after the event, he'll of course depart for Washington DC where he'll be addressing a joint session of the American Congress. It'll be another historic moment unlike any other in world history. Now you see back in 2016 when he had delivered his very first address to the US Congress, and this time around, when he'll be delivering his address to the U.S. Congress, it'll be the second time that the same leader is delivering an address to the U.S. Congress. This is an unprecedented feat for any Indian leader. No prime minister in India's history ever since it became independent has addressed the U.S. Congress twice like the Indian prime minister now, Narendra Modi, will be doing. Well, though very few leaders and dignitaries have in fact been given this honor, this includes the likes of Winston Churchill and Nelson Mandela. Therefore, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's address will of course, will of course put him in a league entirely of his own. The overarching aim of the Prime Minister's visit is to strengthen India's bilateral ties with the United States and according to the U.S. Ambassador to India, Eric Garcetti, he has described this quite aptly where he said, the goal is to deepen cooperation vis-a-vis -vis four important pillars, that is peace, prosperity, planet and people. And this is also the point that is being hit home by the Indian side as well. Before flying to the United States, the Indian Prime Minister had given an interview to the Wall Street Journal. Now, speaking on the Russia-Ukraine war, Narendra Modi said that the world has full confidence that India's topmost priority is peace. He also underlined that India is not a neutral nation. But it said that India has taken a clear side and the side that India has chosen is that of peace and dialogue and negotiations. On the India-China ties, the Indian Prime Minister stated peace and tranquility in the border areas is essentially said and I quote him here, India is fully prepared and is committed to protecting its sovereignty and dignity. Now experts say that this is going to be a win-win visit where both India and the United States will benefit. For India, this visit is going to be a unique opportunity to modernize its military to ensure self-sufficiency and to bridge the capacity, capability and deficit. For America, this is going to be a chance to utilize India as a counterweight to China. The United States sees Beijing as its biggest competitor and rival. So India has become very important for America's Indo-Pacific policy because the United States wants to retain its number one position in the region and to counter China's regional dominance in diplomacy, economy and trade. I think if, uh, she's really All right, now to give us more updates in terms of what, of course, is happening at this moment, we're being joined in by Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent. He's joining us live from New York. Siddhant, this is, of course, an important visit by the Indian Prime Minister, and we expect that he will, of course, be in the United States in some time from now. Get us the latest as to what the mood is like on the ground there. Well, yes, Mohammed, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has landed here in New York and the members of the Indian diaspora are uh, around me. You can see they are uh, enthusiastically waiting for the Indian Prime Minister uh, with flags as well. Let me speak to uh, some of them. Ma'am, how do you plan to welcome the Indian Prime Minister? So with a lot of cheering because, you know, it's something like that. We have a, a nation is like a family and here we are to welcome the head of the family. And we are so blessed to him as a Prime Minister because, see, because of him today, India is is growing and having a lot of respect and recognition throughout the world. So hats off to Prime Minister Modi. Ma'am, your comments uh, ahead of the Indian Prime Minister's uh, coming to his hotel here. He's already landed in New York. Yes, we are very happy to receive him. Uh -huh. 
welcoming. Uh, so uh, there is enthusiasm, there is happiness, uh, uh, which is something that we have seen in past as well when uh, the Indian Prime Minister travels uh, abroad, uh, the Indian diaspora is uh, eagerly waiting to welcome the Prime Minister. But essentially, overall, this visit is a visit that has been closely watched, a visit that uh, cements uh, the India-US. Uh, visit from New York where of course uh, he will be meeting Elon Musk later uh, in few hours uh, meeting that is uh, much awaited as to what will be the key outcomes he's expected uh, to speak to the media as well Elon Musk uh, uh, but essentially uh, it is the yoga day celebrations here in New York that will be the showstopper as the Indian Prime Minister uh, leads the celebration in new in at the UN campus in New York uh, uh, we know that uh, many American influencers and uh, uh, many diplomats are expected to participate in that celebration as well. But it will be hard uh, diplomacy, essentially, as the Indian Prime Minister and the U.S. President sit down for talks uh, in the White House uh, uh, very soon. And that conversation will be a conversation that focus on several domains and areas, whether it's defense, critical technologies, and of course, an outcome-oriented uh, diplomacy is expected. These two countries were countries who weren't best of friends in the last century. And this uh, uh, century, we have seen incremental improvement in the relationship. And this visit other than the substantive outcomes from defense to critical technology, we'll also see celebration of uh, the embrace, to use the word, between uh, the two large democracies of uh, the world. Uh, both countries, of course, uh, are having uh, uh, convergences in several areas, including on China, a country uh, whose aggressive actions uh, both Washington and New Delhi are aware of. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Sidansable, for joining us and getting us all those details there from New York.